Alright, hello everyone. My name's Keith. You may know me by um, some of my in-ring work and some of my render making, Keith Ultra. Today I'll be teaching you guys from requests how to make um, renders. So, mind all of these. So, people think it's really complicated, but it's really not. The only thing that I will ask you guys to have that I cannot instruct is a Lightroom and a rig. That's all I want you guys to have. And you're going to need Cinema 4D, which I will leave a way to get it for free in the description. So first what you want to do, you make sure that the person that you are trying to spawn in is in their designated, like their preferred outfit. And make sure to have spawn at origin off. Trust me, it's going to be worth it later on. Then you would look up their name. So I'll just make myself a quick render. Um, I'm going to do spawn R6. So, the people think they might do something with the limbs, but no, that's not even what you're supposed to do. So, what I want, what you have to do, right click it and click export selection. And I made a folder specifically for all my render related things. Um, I prefer, I recommend you do that just so it's more organized, but you can do whatever you want. So, you have to type in the exact username. Well, you don't have to, but it's going to make it a lot easier. So, First, now that you did that, so once you export the selection and have it in the folder, you're good to close Roblox Studio. You don't need that. Open Cinema 4D. Now, this looks complicated. This looks complicated at first. I will say that, but it's actually pretty simple. So you go to File, and you go to Open. Always do it in this order. Always. You open your Lightroom. Never merge. Always open. I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to say it again, but... So you can open it, and for the sake of you being able to see a little bit better for the first, like, for the meantime, you go over here, and uh, click the top button, like, there's two little buttons here, this area, click the top one until it's red, and you can't see it. Next, you're going to have to do open again, and you have to get your rig. I use near rig, you can use whatever you prefer. So you double click that, and at first this looks nothing like the avatar you want, right? Well, that's because it has textures that you need to change. So you would delete the hat and you'd go into the change. And right over here, you would click the three dots. Now you'd look up the username. And as you see, there's multiple options for textures. Do the one that is highest. That is always going to be the one for the character. All the rest are usually for like hats and props and such. Now that he, the texture is in, you would go to merge. So it's Lightroom open, Nair Rig open, and then merge the OBJ. So you would grab the OBJ file, and since it's spawned at origin, it's going to spawn like right over here without us having to move it. Rotate it. If there's any, see, I made a mistake and made it a little bit higher. Adjust it how you like so it looks about right. Then delete the limbs of that OBJ so you can only see the texture itself. And see, because it's my like. Um, because I have a mask, it doesn't show, but there's going to be a multiple head, like another head too, so you're going to delete that. Keep all the hats from the OBJ though. Alright, so from here, what I recommend doing, so for the things that are hats, you'd go into the rig, and to go into attachments, and there's head attachments. What I would do if I were you, I'd grab all the things for head attachments, hold control, G, like, hold control, um, hold control while you're clicking all of them drag them into head attachments and what this allows you to do it allows you to rotate things with the head attachments and since this um this would go on torso attachments now from here you can start doing poses so um i'm honestly not going to really do anything special i don't really need to here i'll do like a little cute little wave this looks ugly, but like, it, like when you actually put effort into it, trust me, it's gonna it's gonna look good. Um, if you've seen renders, like, you you can do some nice stuff with it. But for now, I'm just gonna do this because I, it doesn't really matter at the moment. All right. So what you have to so next, you can spawn the like find the right camera angle you want for it. Use these top three little options. Move to go. In and go out and then this is a rotate around you hold on the muscle doing this this thing's annoying don't do it 
Um, and if you do this, hold, go on this one and press the um, scroll wheel on your mouse to go back in. So rotate how you want it to be. And then spawn the Lightroom back in using like making it invisible again. Next, you go into render view and just make sure it looks how like you like how it looks with the particular render. So next, you'd go into render settings and go into save, and make it the name you want to process as. You all process as you always need to make sure it's saved. You can never just save it and expect it to work out. By the way, these are the preferred settings. Um. And such after this video I will show you all the recommended settings for the out like put and such and for the merge but for now now that you have that ready in the save you can click on the picture viewer and once this is finished loading you have to wait for it to render you can go ahead and save it and that's basically going to make the render so I'll just call it that no one really cares so just like that um, let me find the render Ignore this one. That was a meme render. It, I know it's disgusting. Trust me. It was on purpose. But, okay, let me find it. I lost it. You hate to see it. That is such a key thing to do. So, because of my stupid stupidity, we get to find it. Um, that put in renders. I forgot, man. This, I do be pretty stupid sometimes, but... When I mean stupid, I'm, like sometimes I mean I'm pretty stupid, man. But you would find it, man. I swear, this is the most humiliating stuff I've ever. This is the most humiliating thing that's ever happened to me on a video. Um, quick access. So I know. Okay, here we go. So here you go. You have the render. This is something that I do by choice. This is something that I just recommend. So to make it like a better size, I open paint.net and I paste it into paint.net. Now what I do is I grab this rectangular tool and I size it around the render. This is completely optional, by the way. If you don't want to do this, you don't have to. This just makes it look overall better with the way it's framed. You hold on it and when the rectangle is around it, control X, new one, control V. You would save it. Done. You have made your render. Um, it's made, but now I will show you the settings you're gonna want. So for the OBJ file, so the Lightroom and Nirig you don't have to worry about. The OBJ file though is going to have some specific stuff. You're going to want to go. Um, so I made this my custom settings. You want a hundred scale. You want zero fung fung angle, and you want to turn off invert transparency. And what I do is save presets so I can do that all the time. Um, let's see. So these are my output settings. Pretty simple. And I'm pretty sure that's all I really have to show at this, like, in at the moment. If you guys have any questions, you can ask me on YT. But from there on, now that now you have made your first render. And your first render may, like, you know, um, be a little bit bad. Like, this was, like, my, this was my first time to render, okay? This thing is disgusting. It's ugly. But like as you slowly progress and progress, you can get but you know you you slowly improve and you know you can end up making renders like the you can end up making renders like these. These are some of my more popular ones. Um, what are like what's one of my popular renders? I think my most popular renders are for um that guy actually, but like you know you can always try and mix up the pose and do something interesting, but. For now, that's it. Goodbye. Hope you all have a good day. And if you have any questions, please ask me in the comments or DM me on Discord. It is Ultra Eight and my it the username's Ultra with the capital U and my tags are eight one six three. Have a good day.